Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. A few years ago, my friend Paul and I, we walked over 18 months the entire North Downs Way in Southern England, from April 2017 to the beginning of November 2018, over about 10 or 11, 12 walks. Presented here are those individual walks that we've originally videoed and I put on my old channel, MEV Productions, but I've coloured them up a bit, spruced them up, done a little bit of a remaster, um, and it's a load of videos about the North Downs Way. There is, of course, the movie version, which I'll link below, um, but these are remastered videos of the North Downs Way walk that Paul and I did. It's 153 miles from Farnham in Surrey to Dover in Kent via the Canterbury Loop. It was a fascinating trip over those 18 months. Really enjoyable, a few steep climbs, but we got there in the end. In this eighth video, we're going from Detling to Charing, and it was 15 miles. Enjoy. So here we are back in Detling. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, walk eight. Uh, we're doing Detling to Charing. So this morning we drove to Charing, got the train into East Maystone, then got a bus from Maystone to down, actually not that far from here, up to Detling. Be very sustainable stuff. Yeah, very sustainable. So, uh, join us next part of the walk. We're heading more and more towards Canterbury, and uh, I hope to show you some sights on the way. Here we go. So there was a cock horse we went to at the end of the last walk. So just past the um, cock horse inn, we've got this Tudor gateway, which is rather nice. It's really cool. Obviously, it's a mo modern door. Well, modern-ish. Yeah, lovely. Following Thomas of Becket's murder in Canterbury Cathedral in 1170, countless pilgrims treading in the footsteps of Henry II following the pilgrim's way to the shrine of St Thomas. Oh right, that's Here interesting. So, as in T.S. Yeah. Eliot's uh, kind of murder in a cathedral. That's nice old buildings. Look at that. So we just turned off and now we're heading upwards up to the scarp. Yes, you can nearly quite Missed that sign nearly, but luckily we saw it. Yeah, because we were looking on the map. We are looking on the map, so we're going up there. It's a very nice spot. Lovely scenery. Another nice view, back to Maidstone. Yeah, Whitehorse Wood, King County Council. I don't look, it doesn't look much like a wood to me. Navigating these rather well, steep steps back down. We just climbed all the way up, now we're climbing back down again. Here you go, that's a little road here. Ah. I can't get out. Ah. Something has some hang gliding. Hang gliding club? No. Oh. It says don't do it on these days because there's a shooting club as well, so it's not a good time to do hang gliding. No. <laughs> Those two don't really complement each other, do they? I just say that the castle is up this way. So, we've made a slight detour, only by 100 yards, to come to Thurnham Castle. First mentioned in 1225. This is just the remains of the outer wall. Absolutely fascinating. Well, let's go through for Port Cullis. <laughs> oh, he's a funny man. He's a funny man. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There we go. We're going this way. Some of these lumps of concrete are over 10 years old. <laughs> feel the yeah. energy. Ancient sarsens. <laughs> They're not, obviously. Stop. All right, we're going to Thurnham Castle Whitehorse Country Park. Oh, okay. Looks nice. I like woodland. Probably I'm an old hippie, but uh, let's get one with nature, yeah? This walk, we've got some ascents and descents, quite a few actually. Um, but the next section we do next time is pretty much even. But the good thing about it is so we're on the high scarp. We've got great views as we're walking along, which is nice. And here comes the... Oh, we're going down, so it must be down then up. See it, top pole. Navigated the steps, looking through this lovely 
leaves coming off this autumn, or the fall, as they call it in the US. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Very big field of crop. It's been going for a while. We're getting hot. But it's lovely blue sky. <laughs> nice little pig farm we've just come across. Bless them. North Downs Way viewpoint. Have a quick look over there. We're just heading into Hollingbourne. We're going to stop for lunch and uh, a drink, I think. It's been quite hilly. Lots of ups on this section. It was a bit tiring, but all good. We're coming into Hollingbourne and our lunch stop at the Dirty Habit. Lunch at the Dirty Habit. Very nice, isn't it? Very nice, a bit posh. Yeah, a bit posh. Very nice. Yeah, the medieval... Uh, medieval... Our dining room. And now we're proceeding along this lovely little route. Welcome to the Dirty Habit. 13th century pub. I'm not sure it is 13th century, really. Yeah, in some parts. I don't think the whole pub is. I think it's a bit of a misleading there, but hey. You've probably got one wall built in the 13th century. But very nice food. I thoroughly recommend going there. That's the, uh, what's it called? The Dirty Habit. The Dirty in Habit Hollingbourne. in Hollingbourne. Loads of pheasants ahead, but they, they run off really quickly, unfortunately. All good. Checking the map. Come on, we've got quite a long stretch here. Yeah, it's pretty much all the way to the end. Yeah, so, like so it might be. Not much to look at, but it's still pleasant around the countryside. It's a Monday afternoon. It's lovely. It's warm. Walking down. Yeah. Walking off the alcohol. Walking off the alcohol and, the, and our lunch. That's all good. This large field, Paul was saying, actually, these bollards here. I'd stop travellers uh, getting in the field, which is quite common around here. Right. Here we go. We're coming up to Harry Atcham. And uh, it's pretty much a straight way all the way down to Charing, more or less. So it's nice, eh? So here's another Pilgrim's Way, but this is at least the real Pilgrim's Way going down to Canterbury. So we let it off. Paul and I just commenting that this posh house up the top here of the hill uh, probably doesn't have too shabby a view when they wake up in the morning. Go up and it's the pilgrim bench. We're going to have the photo taken, which we're going to do now. All right, we're on our way, mate. See you later. You can walk with us. Shall I? <laughs> I'm a cat person, honestly. Charing is four and three quarter miles, probably five miles of diversion to get to the train station. A bit broken today, it's a lot of, you know, it's, it's eased out now, this section is quite easy, but yeah. Like most of the North Downs Way, unfortunately, you've got to put up with the road traffic of the nearby A roads and M roads, motorways, and but hey, it's all good. So there's a big cross in the field, which you can't really see from here. Churchyard in 1960. So this is across for the Fallen, the two world wars. It was up there, I'm afraid you can't really see it from here. Just by chance, we just found another North Downs Way marker. And we're going that way, towards Charing. So we just passed Lenham and yep, okay. three, Charing three, three and a quarter, quarter miles, so not that far. Nearly on the home stretch. A lot of long, long routes on this part of the walk. We just had a, we just had a car come bombing down here. See, it's not really a car, a <laughs> road for cars. Not really. There's a bunch of kids in. Nearly uh, pushed us off the road. Yes. Not good, I wish I got the number plate. So we're in the High Street, in Charing. It's been a great walk, hasn't it, Paul? Okay. Just heading back to the car at Charing Station and we'll say thanks very much and we'll see you next time.